The People's Pope, no stranger to controversy, now weighing in to polar bear territory. Si está rovinando. This, our home is being ruined and damaged, he says, especially for the poor. The Pope's letter, or encyclical, addressed to all people, regardless of religion, is the Vatican's most dramatic foray yet into the climate change debate and how human action, not prayers, can fix it. In the 192-page letter, he blames politicians, business leaders, and consumers, saying we suffer information overload, indifferent to the ecological decline of our world, and calls for a new environmental morality. The encyclical rests on a simple premise. What sort of world do we want to leave our children? Il mio è dunque un appello alla responsabilità. This is an appeal to the responsibility, he says, that God has entrusted us to cultivate and guard the garden. But can this pope affect the climate change debate? It's already heating up the Republican presidential field. I think religion ought to be about making us better as people and less about uh, things that end up getting into the political realm. Another Roman Catholic conservative, Rick Santorum, got himself in the hothouse when he said this on a Philadelphia radio show. I think that uh, you know, we <laughs> probably are better off leaving right. science to the scientists. But this pope is a scientist, studying chemistry before joining the priesthood. <laughs> the title for this latest papal blockbuster is Laudato Si, Latin for be praised. It's a quote from St. Francis of Assisi, the same St. Francis whose name the Pope borrowed. St. Francis used the term to praise God for creating the animals. Pope Francis now using the same prayer to save them. Miguel Marquez, CNN, New York.